San Diego's biotechnology industry group, Biocom, says the region consistently ranks among the nation's top life science clusters. Biocom President Joe Panetta says entrepreneurs, researchers, and technicians are all important to an industry that feeds the local economy. And biotech was the only industry in California in which job growth actually occurred throughout the recession. There's no other sector you can point to where, where that happened. So it's pretty attractive as a, as a recession-proof sector. The economic punch is potent. A recent Biocom study found the life sciences sector cultures $14 billion in direct economic activity. That supports more than 68,000 jobs. Local companies like Illumina, Nuvasiv, and Isis Pharmaceuticals sit beside multinationals like Merck, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson. All are looking for the next big thing, although that next big thing could end up being small. This is an incubator shaker. Helgi Zeiler is the founder of Primordial Genetics. He wants to build better microbes. We have 96 different cultures present in one of these plates, and they're just being shaken to allow them to aerate while they grow. And they're also incubated at uh, 41 degrees, which in this case we're selecting them for resistance to heat. Zeiler's company has taken up residence in Janssen Labs, a biotech incubator managed by Johnson & Johnson. The idea is to nurture new firms by giving them access to expertise and equipment. Zeiler's company started at a single workbench in a common lab and grew to a lab suite. Nobody works in a vacuum and, uh, you know, a small company is kind of like a small plant. If you stick a small plant out in the desert, it can't live. But if you put it in, the, in a forest or in a meadow, in the vicinity of many other plants, it has a chance. Chelsea Hewitt is head of marketing for Janssen Labs. She says this was Johnson & Johnson's first incubator, and it is the largest of four run by the firm. And the facility is not in San Diego by accident. We are wrapped with world-class research institutions. The, um, the commercialization um, capabilities of San Diego are extremely strong. But there was not really a location for life science companies to really get access to flexible, capital-efficient uh, lab space and equipment. More than 30 companies are actively working in this facility. It is a competitive process to land here, but there is no obligation to sell what companies develop to Johnson & Johnson. We've already had three companies um, move up and out of the incubator. Um, the most recent one is going from 2,000 square feet and graduating to a 10,000 square foot facility. David Trippi hopes Care for Today turns into one of those success stories. His team is helping develop a mobile health care manager. It helps people stay on top of complicated medical dosage routines. It's one of the only medication adherence apps that actually shows you the image of the pill, so you see the front and the back of every tablet. The application works on any phone or tablet, and it can send notifications to loved ones if a dosage is missed. Trippy says the app does all that while protecting patient confidentiality. This is why we're in San Diego. I mean, San Diego really is the wireless health capital, and we've been able to recruit a great team here locally uh, of people that have worked in this space for quite a while. Personal digital health tools could be an emerging force in San Diego's biotech cluster. Biocom's Joe Panetta says the technology takes advantage of three areas that prosper in San Diego, biotechnology, telecommunications, and medical devices. They're all beginning to come together, and this will be a big thing here in San Diego because we've grown all of those sectors over time, and they're beginning to converge. Panetta says San Diego companies continue to spawn new ideas, technologies, and products. He says local companies will be well represented this week at Bio 2014. More than 50 local firms have paid for display space at the convention. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.